walked from home. Nine kilometers from home. Because I don't have money, so I decided to walk from six to eleven. When, for example, when your children are sick, now who takes care of those gardens? No, my husband will go. And who cooks food for you? <laughs> no one. No one. Then how do you eat? <laughs> if my kid is sick, I cannot eat. Yeah, because the kid refuse eating also, how can I eat? In fact, it is a very high epidemic in this unit here. We have a good number. At least three quarters of the attendants here, they suffer from malaria. And what they tell us, they don't have mosquito nets. Though we received some few we issued, up to now some have not been having it. Malaria is a devastating disease, killing one million Africans a year, mostly children under five and pregnant women. For 30 years, Minnesota International Health Volunteers has worked to improve the health of women and children. Today they are targeting malaria in the West Nile region of Uganda. Working with community leaders, government officials, and local organizations, Minnesota International Health Volunteers is implementing a strategy of malaria education, treatment, and prevention. At least over 80% of the people suffer from what? From malaria. Over 80%. Say, if I see 20 persons, around 15 to 18, can be having malaria. Malaria is preventable by sleeping under a long-lasting insecticide-treated bed net. The contact between the patient and the mosquito must be reduced. That contact must be reduced, therefore we would need to have nets, long-lasting insecticide-treated nets for these communities. By focusing on malaria prevention, Minnesota International Health Volunteers is giving Ugandan mothers a chance to avoid the agony of watching their children suffer from this terrible disease. Prevention. If we really want to, to overcome malaria as a big challenge in the district, to me, prevention is better than what? Than cure. In December 2008, 30,000 long-lasting insecticide-treated nets were distributed to the most vulnerable members of the population. Your help is vital to our success. $10 provides a long-lasting insecticide-treated net, giving protection to those who need it most, pregnant women and children under five. Jessica says she did not fall sick once during her pregnancy because she received a free bed net. Jennifer says that since she received her bed net, the frequency of malaria attacks for her daughter has reduced. MIHV institutes a broad program to educate community health workers. These community health workers are trained to recognize and treat malaria in the home, educate on the correct use of bed nets, and encourage pregnant women to attend prenatal clinics where they can receive free care. Before they, they were not sleeping in the net, there was several cases of malaria. But these days, there is change. MIHV supports local organizations, training them to better educate their community on the dangers of malaria and how to prevent and treat it. Florence is an MIHV trained community health worker who assists recipients of the free nets. You go and check on the nets, which is also to prevent that, the malaria. You go and tell them how to hang them or how to keep them. You tell them what they were, they were told us. Jimmy does the same, but says that more help is needed. Our poverty rate is a, is a bit high, where we, we don't have a lot of funds. So it could be advisable and better that uh, your, your support is, is added to the rate of malaria can, can reduce. Because we, we are, it seems we, we are now lacking funds, funds for, for preventing these malaria cases.
We are doing good work to combat malaria in Uganda, but more help is needed. Ten dollars can provide a treated bed net to save the life of a child. Please join our cause. Thank you.